Hello YouTube, Pallav here and today we're gonna talk about this the Canon EOS M6 in this particular video we'll do an unboxing of this device and we'll also have a first look at this camera and the supplied lens and all the supplied accessories and stuff so let's get started yeah and there is the pretty little box for the pretty little camera out here we get us 8 GB card here in India your market you might or might not get this card so that's the camera black color with the kit lens EOS M6 these tapes are open because it's a review device so that's the body and you get a 15 to 45 mm 3.5 till 6.3 kit lens with this eos m kit lens 24.2 uh, megapixel sensor it's an aps-c sensor this is the usb of this camera dual pixel cmos autofocus system the same continuous autofocus during video that you have found on the 8td or heard uh, maximum ISO in still is 25,600, 6400 in video and then you get a 180 degree tilting touchscreen LCD. Nothing much on this side apart from the MRP which is probably the most important thing. Uh, 56995 we have the black model, nothing much here. Here they are showing the content of the box but I'm gonna show that to you anyway. So once you open the box, the typical getting started guide and if you're using these kind of cameras for the first time, I strongly recommend go through this before start using the camera. And then your warranty card, some of the cautions and then some of the softwares and stuff. And then when you go further in, that's the camera, we'll come to the camera in a bit. One good thing that I found with this one is that it comes with an external battery charger. Unlike some of those Sony mirrorless cameras, which do not come with this. So while charging the battery, you have to charge the battery inside the camera and cannot use the camera at that time here if you buy an extra battery you can charge that this one and still use the other battery with the camera I haven't talking about the battery that's the one yeah uh, it should give about 269 or 279 shots as Canon says should not be that much though in practical uses that's the next step and then we'll come to the body it's very lightweight and as far as I remember it should be less than 400 grams then we have the kit lens here there you go this one's also very very tiny when you compare some of the kit lenses 15 to 45 uh, kit lens and 3.5 till 6.3 you also get a slightly similar lens in the EOS M series that's from 18 mm till 55 mm uh, you gain some uh, at the wide angle here it starts with 15 that starts with 18 but then it ends at um, f-stop of 6.3 that one ends at 5.6 so you get more light there even at the telephoto end there you go and that's the front and is it written what shape does it take 49 mm filter thread will it take so coming back to the camera here it's a mirrorless camera the main thing you would know that there's a there's no uh, mirror here that's why it's called mirrorless obviously you straight away get to the sensor and you should hide it as soon as possible because otherwise you it will get a dust and all and then your uh, you know flash mount over there hot shoe uh, flash mount or mic mount and then your inbuilt flash your shooting mode dial a little rigid though and then exposure compensation dial you get another two dials here that's a nice touch uh, one actually here and then that's the lever power on lever you get another dial here and the shutter release button and then some customizable button here uh, well nice the grip is not very deep but then they had to keep the body uh, you know small and that's another one that would really help in vlogging so the screen comes up like this it's also touch screen so you do not have to fiddle around with the buttons if they're on the back you can straight away go and do some functioning from here and it goes down like this about 45 degree you also get a external mic jack here you can use a mic but no headphone jack and that's the charging point micro usb so you can also charge this with your smartphone charger 
some of the other things like micro HDMI ports and stuff and also the remote terminal and that's that's what the Wi-Fi point or something your tripod mount and then that's the battery compartment and that's the card that it comes free with so it's a class 10 card UHS 1 8 GB 45 Mbps should be the read speed the write speed should be much less so overall this one looks good it's not all metal though but feels quite sturdy yeah so we'll come back with a full review of this device till then please stay tuned thank you